Hello Sagittarius, what's up and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is doing well. This is your love reading Sagittarius dealing with the Aries, okay? There will be an extended to this reading. So if you want to see the extended version after this Sagittarius, it will be the first link in the description box below, okay? So this is Sagittarius dealing with Aries for the month of October. Let's see what's going on, what you need to know and be aware of. Um, welcome back Sagittarius. I love you guys for being here to my newbies. Welcome to the channel Make sure that you subscribe to the channel guys like the video This helps me to pick up on your energy for a reading. So exchange energy for with me. Okay um, Yep, get your member support badge for $1.99 Sagittarius So there will be an extended to this reading if you're interested It is the first link and the description box below. All right, here we go. Holy Spirit Holy Angels This is for Sagittarius and Aries Sagittarius and Aries here. What is the most? What's going on? What's the most important thing Sagittarius need to know? Dylan Aries. What's the energy here for Sagittarius? Dylan Aries. What's going on here? The energy between Sagittarius and Aries, the month of October 2023. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What's the energy between Sagittarius and Aries in October? What's the energy between the two? Thank you. What's going on here between Sagittarius and Aries? Thank you, Holy Spirit. October 2023. Sagittarius and Aries. Confession. Okay. What's going on here between Sagittarius and Aries? We got move. Ooh, we got move on. Confession and move on. So somebody's confessing. <clears throat> we'll see Sagittarius. We got vacation. So it's like one of you guys are confessing your love, okay? Or somebody has something to say here. Then one of you guys, some somebody's unavailable here, Sagittarius. All right. Somebody's unavailable here. They may be walking out the door. They may be moving on here. But then we got vacation. Like somebody wants to take you on a vacation. This is you or Aries. We'll see what's going on here. Okay. You will be traveling soon. This person may be emotionally distanced with you, Sagittarius. It's Aries here. Someone is, a, is unavailable and a waste of time. What's going on? So somebody feels like it's over here. Wow. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What is this energy between Sagittarius and Aries? What's going on here? October 2023. Strongest energies. Sagittarius doing Aries. Clear, concise messages here. Sagittarius doing Aries. What's going on here in this energy? Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's go. Oh, all right now. Y'all see that? Something might be messy between you and Aries. We got the seven of cups at the bottom of the deck. Holy Spirit, give me Aries energy. How is Aries, you know, what's, give me Aries energy right now and with Sagittarius, whatever's going on. How's Aries feeling? What's Aries, how's Aries feeling about Sagittarius at this time? How's Aries feeling about Sagittarius at this time? Two of Wands. So Aries definitely want to come together with you with the Two of Wands here, Sagittarius, okay? There may have been some deception, some lies here um saggy but i see that with the two of wands they could have a decision make or definitely they want to come together with you okay let's see give me one more what's going on how's aries feeling about sagittarius this october 2023 how's aries feeling here what's going on how's aries feeling about sagittarius we'll try to pop out the four of cups hmm are you turning aries down how is aries feeling about sagittarius holy spirit thank you <clears throat> Oh, the strength. So Aries feel like you're holding back Sagittarius, like you're not giving them no time here. <clears throat> the two of cups. Okay. Hmm. Or Aries is definitely trying to find, I will clarify, Aries is trying to find the strength to have some type of stability with you, Sagittarius. Okay. Aries could be holding back here. Let's see. How is Sagittarius feeling about Aries in October? How is Sagittarius feeling about Aries, Holy Spirit? Ooh, you feel like it's over. Okay, we got a three of pentacles here. So you definitely feel like it's over between Aries here. So that's your energy. Like you're trying to move on from the situation. You feel like there's a lot of conflict here. You're trying to have a new beginning, Sagittarius, elsewhere. All right. Um, with this death energy here, Sagittarius, I feel like you, you may feel like it's over here, Sagittarius. But then again, I see that you may want to work on this or you definitely feel like Aries have, um, you know, somebody else that you're dealing with the three of pentacles here. You may work with Aries. Okay. Holy Spirit. What is the mutual energy between Sagittarius and Aries? What is the mutual energy between Sagittarius and Aries? October, 2023. 
What's the mutual energy between these two Holy Spirit? Sagittarius and Aries. What's the mutual energy between Sagittarius and Aries here? Oh, the Emperor. So both of you guys want some type of stability here. Both of you guys want marriage or you want to take things to the next level with the Emperor energy. Okay. Or definitely some of you guys are definitely controlling the judgment here. Your energy here. The Eight of Swords in reverse. Sagittarius, I feel like both of you guys want something here. Give me another one. What's the mutual energy between Aries and Sagittarius, Holy Spirit? Thank you. Mutual energy between these two Aries and Sagittarius. Sagittarius, I meant to say pick which side is yours. Okay. You may be be on this side. Aries may be on this side. So however it resonates with you, pick those sides. Okay. In the mutual energy, Sagittarius, I see that you guys are there, definitely cold towards each other. All right. Somebody's not taking no more BS here. And it's like, you guys definitely want peace. You want balance. You want serenity in this relationship here. If there is a relationship, um, something may have happened where you guys may be thinking about moving on. All right. But then there's, I feel like either you or Aries is making a confession, trying to reconnect again. So yeah, you guys want to heal things here to start the bottom of the deck, but there's a lot of conflict here, Sagittarius, with having this new beginning. Okay. Holy Spirit, give me one more. What's the challenge here? Oh, y'all see how those, car those cards flew out? Let me do that again. What's the challenge here between Sagittarius and Aries? What's the challenge here? October 2023 between Sagittarius and Aries. What's the challenge here? What's the challenge? Healing things. Healing things. And I feel like um, being on the same page with each other. Oh, my God. Let me see. Can y'all see these cards? Hold on, y'all. You can see them. Okay. All right, Sagittarius. So I was in a shower and I was like, you know, thinking about doing this reading. Like, how should I do it? You know, um, because usually I just do this on the extended, um, on the exclusive readings. Okay. I don't post these on the regular um, channel, but I just want to give y'all a sneak peek. So this is a sneak peek for you guys to see, you know, what's going on in the month of October between you and Aries. All right. But when I was in a shower, I was, um, it came to my mind when I was thinking about doing your reading, <clears throat> Sagittarius on Aries, I heard Mr. Postman. And then I heard my baby love, my baby love. I need you. Oh, how I need you love. So somebody's in love here. Okay. Somebody's in love here. So we're going to see what's going on here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Sagittarius on Aries, October, 2023. What's the energy here? Something may be specific about Halloween. Okay. Sagittarius doing the Aries. What's the energy here between the two? Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. October 2023. Clear, concise messages. Sagittarius doing the Aries. All right. We got the Six of Cups. It is somebody. So, looks, it is somebody from your past. Somebody got a decision to make. Okay. Page of Cups. Like, somebody has a decision to make either to give an apology here. All right, to come forth. Six of Cups at the bottom make with the temperance. Again, bouncing things out. Somebody wants somebody wants healing here. Somebody feels left out, okay? Let's see. So right now, Aries feeling about you, Two of Wands. Tell me about this Two of Wands and Aries energy. Aries may definitely live overseas. They may not live near you, Sagittarius. You may have met them online, okay? They may definitely be at a distance here, Sagittarius. They're definitely mostly distance. Um, what is this? Set um Aries energy with the two of wands. What is this? Aries energy with the two of wands. Yeah, the star. So definitely Aries wants to come together. Okay. And they want to make things right with you, Sagittarius. Whatever has happened with you, they want to make things right. I see the star energy. Okay. Page of wands. They definitely want a new beginning here, but you may be closed off to them, but they're definitely holding on to you. Let's see the strength. Why is the strength here in Aries energy? This is how they're feeling about Sagittarius with the strength. What's the strength here? Ooh, the Ace of Cups. Look at that. Okay, Aries, come with this big cup of love. Aries says, Sagittarius, I want to make this confession to you, baby. Okay? Aries, like, let's go on this vacation. Don't you move on from me, Sagittarius. Don't do it. Okay, the tower here, this is going to be uh, exciting here to, uh, um, for, I feel like, for you to hear. Let's see. So now we have right here the death here in your energy. Why is the death in, in Sagittarius energy? Why is Sagittarius feeling this death energy about Aries? Why is Sagittarius feeling this way 
because I feel like said you are focused on yourself here, and I feel like you 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 you're trying to use your best intuition of what you should do, and I feel like your intuition is telling you Sagittarius focus on yourself and listen to your intuition here. All right. But then again, Sagittarius, I feel like, you know, you're trying to use your intuition because you want this person back. I feel like you want a new beginning with this person, Sagittarius. Some of you guys may be having, you know, some type of anxiety. You don't have to be. Why is this Three of Pentacles the way Sagittarius feels? Why is the Three of Pentacles and Sagittarius energy here? The Four of Pentacles here. You may be very close off towards Aries here. Going back and forth trying to figure out, you know, is this what I really want to do? Okay, I feel like my hands is tied. I feel like you overthink this all the time, but definitely Aries watches you. Okay. Hmm. Why is the Emperor here Um, and the mutual energy between Sagittarius and Aries? The emperor here for the mutual energy between the two. Two of wands. I feel like definitely we got the two of wands here and the two of wands here. You both, I feel like you both are like wishing upon a spar. Wanting things to, to work here, okay? Wanting things to work and the judgment. Um, hoping this is the right decision to make, you know, to come together once again. To start something new, Sagittarius. Give me something on the temperance here and the mutual energy. Temperance energy here. For the mutual energy between Sagittarius and Aries, Ace of Swords, somebody's thinking about making some type of contact here. Um, you guys are definitely watching each other, Sagittarius, but I've still you you still think about these burdens uh, or these toxic ways that somebody has had. Okay, let's see. Why is the Queen of Swords here and the mutual energy? Why is the Queen of Swords here and the mutual energy? The Ten of Cups. I feel like you both want this family. You both want this Ten of Cups. You both want this um, happily ever after moment, Sagittarius. But it's like, I feel like you both are being stubborn, you know, and both of you are like taking no junk here um, in this mutual energy. Like you both want clarity. You both want truth. And that's it. It can't be no other way. Two of Swords, the Empress. The challenge here is the Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords the challenge? Why is the Four Swords the challenge between Sagittarius and Aries, Holy Spirit? The Nine of Wands, because somebody has done a lot of work here. Somebody has fought for this relationship, this partnership, and, you know, I feel like it, you know, it didn't work. And somebody's afraid to heal, okay? What's influence the Four Swords as a challenge here? What's influencing the four swords in the challenge? The hermit. Somebody could be very cold here. Seven of cups. Give me one more. Why is the hermit here? The ten of swords. Instead of somebody healing, they ghost the situation. They leave the situation thinking it's going to make it better, but it does not. All right. And... I mean, and, and then in a challenge here, I feel like either you goes to Aries, Aries goes to you, you know, and it's like, you know, I don't know if I can really deal with this again, you know, this backstab of how you ran away from me. Because you see, like, so this person has 10 swords in their back and they're reaching out to get back on their broom to to leave a situation, but they can't, they can't even get up and this person is running away and not even helping them. And it's like, you know, can I really deal with that again? Can I really deal with that again? Somebody has a decision to make with the two of swords. So right now in the challenge, Sagittarius, I see that the nine of wands, you guys had definitely been through a lot here with this person struggling. I feel like mentally, physically, emotionally trying to make things work. Somebody has ghosted this situation definitely hurt you with the ten of swords energy. Um, Right now in the mutual energy, I see that you both definitely want this Ten of Cups energy, this happily ever after here, Sagittarius. But I feel like you guys are afraid. I feel like definitely, you know, Aries watches you and they think about how can they make things work with this temperance energy with you to be balanced, to be emotionally stable, to be, um, you know, in a peaceful relationship without, without all the drama and chaos. I feel like in the mutual energy also, you both want this stability where you can have a partnership, a relationship that leads to marriage, um, something that's very stable here, 
Sagittarius. And it's like you both want this two of wands energy where you come together and make something happen. Right now, Aries is definitely thinking about you, Sagittarius. I feel like they long for you, okay? But he definitely wants something with you here. Um, wanting, you know, wishing upon a star, want to heal things with you, Sagittarius. And I feel like wanting to be vulnerable as well. And then we have, you know, with the, the strength here, Aries could definitely be holding back um, their emotions for you, not, not letting you know um, how they really feel. But with this Ace of Cups, they have a lot of love for you. And this may be their confession, but we will see in the in the um, extended. Right now, you could be definitely holding back uh, from Aries, but you definitely could be holding on to Aries. You know, want to work on with Aries and not want to let go, but you're still afraid to open up. All right. And right now in this death energy, Sagittarius is in your energy. I feel like you go in between trying to figure out, you know, should I listen to my intuition to let this thing go? Or should I have a rebirth? Should I have another reconciliation with Aries? But I feel like I need to, you know, focus on myself first, on my self-worth before I give myself to Aries. And that's what I'm getting here. Okay. So let's see, Sagittarius, what's going on in the extended. Let's see. Let's first get this confession. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's get this for Sagittarius doing Aries, October 2023. Clear, concise message for Sagittarius. Do a little Aries here. Like the video, guys. Exchange energy with me. Oh, yep, that's my time, y'all. I'm on time today. I am proud of myself. Yes. All right, here we go. Sagittarius doing Aries. Clear, concise messages for October 2023. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. All right, let's get it. So the first question we're going to ask is what is this confession that Aries has to make, okay? What is this confession that Aries has to make to Sagittarius, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels? I'm going to pull from the top. What is this confession that Aries want to make in October 2023 to Sagittarius? What is this confession here? What is this confession? <laughs> Y'all see what popped over. Oh, Lord. Aries is obsessed with you. Do you hear me? Okay. Let's see. One more. What's the confession here? Oh, Lord. I can't stop, y'all. I can't stop. That's the issue here. All right, here we go. What's the confession? Two more shuffles. All right. So let's see. How does Aries feel about Sagittarius in their heart? How does Aries feel about Sagittarius in their heart? How is Aries feeling about Sagittarius in their heart? How does how does Aries feel about Sagittarius deep down in their heart? Holy Spirit, October 2023. How's Aries feeling deep down in their heart? Holy Spirit, thank you. Let's see. What does Aries want with Sagittarius? What does Aries want long term with Sagittarius? What do they want? What does Aries want with Sagittarius? Holy Spirit, thank you. Let's see. Is Aries dealing with anyone else? Is Aries dealing with anyone else in love, Holy Spirit? Is Aries dealing with anyone else? Thank you. All right. And let's see. What does the end of October hold for Aries and Sagittarius? What does the end of October hold for Aries and Sagittarius? Thank you. All right, Sagittarius, I'm going to take it to the extended to um, go ahead and clarify these energies and see what's going on with your Aries. We'll look at, at the bottom of the deck to see um, what you don't see coming. We'll get some advice for you and we'll get um, Aries' last words. Or should I get Aries' last words now? Let me get their last words now. And we'll get the initials and extend it. Or maybe I'll do it now. Hold on, Sagittarius. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Sagittarius doing Aries. What's Aries' last words here? What is Aries' last words towards Sagittarius now? October 2023. Aries' last words, Holy Spirit. What do you want to tell Sagittarius? What does Aries want to tell Sagittarius here? Ooh, Aries want to talk. Do you hear me? I I feel you leaving me behind. Yeah, that's that death energy. <laughs> I'm so attracted to you, and I saw that Aries of obsessed. I couldn't let you. Ch I couldn't let you get close to me. Ooh. So Aries was definitely, you know, afraid to love here. And this may be the confession that Aries wants to tell you, Sagittarius, okay? And somebody has a decision to make with these two of swords energies. But Aries says they're so attracted to you. And Aries feel like you're about to leave them behind, Sagittarius, are you? All right, so I'm about to pull these initials, Sagittarius. If you do not resonate with initials, it doesn't mean anything, Sagittarius. You may resonate more with the reading, okay? So... 
just because you don't resonate with the um with the initials doesn't mean it's not your reading okay so let's get this Sagittarius. Sagittarius doing Aries, October 2023. This may be your initials, their initials, your car, however resonate with you. Sagittarius, Sagittarius and Aries. Thank you. We have P. I heard Paul. B. L. And we have, what is this? Is this a W? Yeah, a W. Sagittarius and Aries. We have M. K. E. N. V. All right. Sagittarius and Aries. We have F. We have J. We have O. And we have T. Sagittarius, I'm going to go ahead and take it to the extended. Now, it is the first link in the description box below. Guys, make sure you hit, you, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Comment below. All right. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.